So one big piece of advice I would give to myself would be not to listen to your anxiety because God's got a place for you and there's no reason why you should have anxiety if you, should, if you give it all to Him. It's okay to be different. You're not going to be liked by everyone, um, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't be yourself because there are people out there in the world who will love you for who you are and not who you pretend to be. Don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone and people are more graceful than what you think they are. I would tell myself to never settle um, for anything, whether it's friends or like homework. Always do your best. I would tell myself more about like my value. I think it's so easy in life just to get your value from things outside yourself. But then it's like the truth of reality is you their value is in Christ. And so just realizing that like you have value because God has like made you in his image and he has value because he loves you. Don't be afraid to let people know what talents you have. It's not rubbing it in people's faces if you just show it because they're your God-given talents. Don't be afraid to give yourself grace. I have learned that I am worthy. Yes, I'm a sinner, but I'm still loved. My worth is not found in what other people think of me. It's not found in what any guy thinks of me. It's not found in what my friends think of me, not even my family. My worth is found in what God thinks of me, um, and he calls me his daughter, his child. One of my favorite scriptures is Zephaniah 317, where it says, The Lord your God is with you, the mighty warrior who saves in his love. He doesn't rebuke you, but delights over you with praise. And I love that because it's like, sometimes we think we can go too far away from the love of God, and God's like, no, I'm going to bring you back. I've learned that I am a lot of things. I am competitive, I am direct, I can be sarcastic. Those might be negatives at times, but God has made me the way I am for a reason, and all of those attributes that I have are gonna come into play for His purpose for me. Oh, I didn't do super great on that test, but just like, that doesn't define who I am. It's like, God has given me a brain. <laughs> I can use it, it may not have shown on that past test, but I still am like valued because I have trust issues and knowing and like firmly knowing and believing that I can put my heart in God's hands and that he's not going to hurt it has been a really good thing. Who I am does not depend on my successes or my failures, but who I am depends on my worth um, in Christ and that's the fact that I'm covered by grace and that I am loved regardless of my good days or my bad days. God also made you, and God doesn't make mistakes, therefore, you are not a mistake.